When my daughter Lauren was first diagnosed with cystic fibrosis, I was a 29-year-old new mother of twins, and she was an eight-month-old infant. Initially hearing the diagnosis, I was relieved because I knew something was wrong prior to our diagnosis the way that a mom just knows. When we met with the genetics team and they told us she had tested positive for cystic fibrosis, they explained that the average life expectancy was 39 but that the new drugs and therapies on the market were really good and would positively impact life expectancy. I close my blind. After that, I didn't hear anything else. Were they kidding? I was supposed to be happy about that? It wasn't long before relief turned into grief. I had been suffering from postpartum depression after having Lauren and her twin brother, so the news of her diagnosis sent me further into depression. I felt overwhelming sadness and grief over the possibility of outliving my daughter. I grieved the loss of what I had pictured my life was supposed to be with a daughter. Would I see her go to school, play sports, go to dances, graduate from high school, go to college and graduate, fall in love, get married, have children and be a mom? Would her life be consumed by illness, therapies and hospitalizations? Would she suffer? How would I continue my career when my child needed me at home? How would I be able to manage raising twins, let alone a child with a chronic illness? I felt very overwhelmed and scared. People grieve in different ways. Lauren's father dealt with things by moving forward and getting started with what needed to be done to care for Lauren. This created tension in our relationship because I couldn't understand why he wasn't devastated, he wasn't sobbing and crying. He couldn't understand why I appeared to be wallowing in self-pity. We quickly rallied as a family to ensure Lauren had the care she needed to be healthy. I eventually joined a support group at the local CF center where Lauren received her care. It was nice to know I wasn't alone. And Lauren's diagnosis turned our family upside down, but it also brought us together. We were determined to raise a daughter who could do or be anything she wanted to. She is not defined by her illness because we never let it hold her back or we never allowed her to use it as an excuse. <laughs>